Hello super users, so just this morning Finale actually launched an update that includes dark mode at least on Mac OS. Now as of the time of this recording, they've not yet updated their user manuals at all, nor have they actually posted a Finale blog post. So there's nothing really much to go on. And the final thing just to note is that the only way I found to be able to turn off dark mode is to change your overall system appearance to light. It looks like Finale automatically does whatever your system dark mode is. There isn't a setting anywhere in these settings to toggle it on or off yet. Nor is there anything up here in the view menu to toggle dark mode on or off. So with that said, let's dive in. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the actual music layout the page, uh, this looks identical to what you had it before. You are always able to, under palettes and backgrounds, change it to be a dark mode appearance. For instance, have the background solid color to be black and have the display colors to be white here. But Finale's dark mode updates seem to be more with the general UI elements. For instance, this bottom bar is now dark in dark mode. If you add the main tool palette, this little top bar is dark and score manager is dark as well, both tabs of score manager. You'll also notice that things like playback controls, that's also now completely dark. If you go to the expression tool, they've updated the expression tool as well. And I find it amusing that the actual uh, content is light, but just the border is dark. I personally would have liked to see the uh, content with all the expressions be at least a grayer color, just that way it's not as blinding or appear as out of place as it currently does. And even if you go to edit categories, all of this is dark. And though it looks like they started to convert many of their pictures into a dark mode like format, it looks like not all of them are completely converted over as you can see here, where the one turbo clef is completely light on the dark background and the other one is a very hard to see black on a dark background. Then if we go add an articulation, again, this articulation dialog box is dark as well. And again, I would have liked to have had more of a grayer format in the middle rather than have a pure white center that's completely blinding in the context of this dark mode background. Most plugins are now dark, including third party plugins. And from what I can tell, as long as any of the UI elements don't have like pictures or images or anything that relates to music, the dark mode overall seems to work pretty well, especially for these third party plugins, which they don't control. And as well as I believe most of the Finale main system dialog boxes. So transposition is dark. And I believe like the edit filter is even dark. And if you haven't seen my video on the 21 ways to copy paste in Finale, do check that out. I explain pretty much what this does. And as dark modes go, this dialog box, and like I said, any of the ones that don't have musical elements are really, really well done and are pretty much close to top tier for as most dark modes go. So overall, what does this mean for you? Well, if you like dark mode and you like on how things like this look, this is perfect because you're gonna get to see this pretty much everywhere now in Finale. But if you don't, you're gonna need to always come back here and change your system preferences back to light anytime you want to use Finale, especially if you prefer dark mode everywhere else. Especially since unfortunately, I haven't seen yet in Finale's preferences, any setting to automatically turn dark mode off or on. But if I find anywhere where this toggle exists in the next few days, or if Finale decides to create a second update that includes the setting, I will post a correction in both the comments and the description below. Now, what else does this mean? Well, if you have any macro plugins that use any sort of image recognition of the screen, they will probably be broken now. For instance, if you use Keyboard Maestro and you look for found images or have if statements, you're gonna have to now replace every single one of those if statements or no longer use dark mode. However, given the fact that many users have been asking for a dark mode for years, you can find threads on the Finale forum, the Make Music forum, the Make Music help desk feature requests. I suspect many, many of you are really going to like this update. But I also know that dark mode like this is not for everyone. So if you don't like how Finale implemented dark mode, but want to use dark mode everywhere else, do not update to this current version of Finale. That's today's video giving you a brief overview of what everything looks like with Finale in dark mode. That way you can make the decision about whether you want to upgrade to the most recent version of Finale 26 or not. Again, this did replace what was going to be for today's video. So if you wanna see 10 different things you need to add to your document styles or templates right now, do hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you can get notified as soon as I post the video tomorrow.